I've spent the morning watching the McKees, waiting for them to make a mistake, to do something that proves them guilty of killing Charlotte May. But what if I'm wrong? What if I saw what I wanted to and there was nothing in that rug? If I had hard evidence, I would have told Catherine already. I have nothing but suspicions. I should be looking at everyone in daily view. And Harold Levy is next on my list. Theo is working on the automobile I saw him put the rug into. I still have my eye on you. Harold is a large man. Large enough to carry a little girl and not slow him down. Back in a bit, yeah? Don't mess up the pain <laughs> Yeah, right. It's too far away. I'll have to zoom in. Annabelle. I can't shake what I saw in your pantry. But for now, Harold is my focus. There appears to be a box of some importance under Harold's bed. Whatever it contains, he's not happy about it. Theo, I need to step out for a moment. You all right watching the shop, yeah? Okay. Harold Levy is unlocking Tony Morgan's door. Now he's entering. What does he think? This does not look like a social visit. What in God's name is he doing? He's attacking Mr. Morgan. zoomed in enough to see. Mr. Morgan looks petrified. Did Harold take Charlotte May? Did he attack Tony the night she was taken? Who would want to take you? And why? 
Well, I've never seen him like this. Jesus Christ. You okay, boss? Yeah. Yeah. You sure? I said I'm fine. Ah. Okay. I have to do something. I doubt Harold will welcome me in the way the McKees did, but if he can enter another man's home unannounced, well then so can I. Harold Levy is leaving his flat. My patience has paid off. The place seems empty enough. Now to find a way into Levy's garage. inside before I can be seen. Is that smell? Damp, I think. Mr. Levy? Is anyone home? Good.
sure this is the hallway to Levy's flat. Let's hope he's still out. Harold Levy has a lady friend. This is where I watched Harold from my window. I hope none of my neighbors are watching me. Someone showering. I'd better be quiet. Hmm. might be important. You never know. Interesting. Is Harold ashamed of whomever is in the shower? Just 
she wouldn't leave me feeling blue. He must have moved the box somewhere else. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Still got it.
Finally. Time to take a look inside. Might make a good lock pick. Curious to see what was left in his office. Now then, let's see what's been left in Levy's office. It must have something to do with him attacking Mr. Morgan. There's Harold's mail. I can't get to it from this side.
There's Levy's office. It looks like he's still out of the building. That smell again. The damp is even stronger in here. What on earth is that? It looks important. There's Harold Levy's office. I suppose I'll look elsewhere for now. Now, what's this? Wouldn't happen to be what caused the flood, would it? Levy. Please don't have taken shot at me.
Hello? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm on it. He's coming here. No, 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 I'll... I'll sort it out. No, no, oh, all right, fine. Bollocks. He's left the office door open, but now I'm stuck in here. I wouldn't trust you as far as I could throw you. Now, what's this then? This is definitely the car that Theo dumped the rug into. Charlotte, please don't be inside. These all seem to be powered from here. So the fuse for the shutters is blown in the basement. Good to know.
Now what do we have here? doing something right. This might come in handy. Explains the damp smell. The water's far too deep to wade through.
I'm going to need to hurry. Fuse is blown. Right. Time to open those shutters and get back to the office. Mr. Levy. Hello. Good. Now to get back to the office. The threat in the box said there was something in this office. Perhaps something for my evidence board. Please search. Sort it. Food 
nothing interesting. Old files, perhaps. Bits and bobs. Could be useful. Not what I was expecting. I'm sure Harold knows why this is so damning. Did Tony Morgan take this? Is that why Harold attacked him? Petrol. Harold's basement is far more vast than I thought. Charlotte, you're down there.
Hmm, what's this? I wonder if I can knock it down. Well, I'm too close to stop now. Looks like they didn't get too far with the search. It doesn't look like they have much to go on. The pump is set to clear the basement of water. Oh, this hose needs connecting.
what's this? working and quickly too damn if it's not loud Charlotte if you're down there I will find you worked. Well, why on earth would Harold have flooded this? Charlotte May. Charlotte, are you down there? Cigarettes. What on earth is all this? Charlotte, can you hear me? don't be you. It's her. It has to be. I'm too late.
What? Chemicals? I... I, I don't understand. Why? Did Harold Levy drug Chardonnay? There was a rag found at the crime scene. Is this what was on it? There's no way he would flood his own basement unless... He was scared of the police searching him. I need my evidence board. This is far too damning to ignore. So, you're going to tell me what you're doing in my garage, or am I going to have to evict you too? Ah, uh, uh, Mr. Levy, I, uh, well, I, I was just about to... Save it. What were you doing in there? Did you find what you were looking for, did you? Actually, I was looking for you. As soon as I realized you were at home, I came straight out to find you. You could rest assured. What is it you want, Mr. Conway? Well... I wanted to talk with you about Charlotte May's disappearance. Really? Uh, if you're not too troubled to help. Why the hell would I waste my time talking to you? Will you answer some of my questions or not? So it's an interrogation then? It's me asking you to help Tony Morgan find his missing daughter. Surely you want to help. Fine. I'll hear me out. What do you want? A statement is all. Where you were the night that Charlotte May was taken. What you were doing, with whom you spoke. That kind of thing. A statement, you say? Where do you want me to begin? Tell me, if you would, what you did between 10pm and 11pm just before Charlotte May was taken. Well... I was in my flat for most of the night, except for about 10 o'clock. I went across to the courtyard and locked up the front gate. You know, to keep the wrong kind of person there. Sometime after that, I heard a noise. It sounded like something strange, but I didn't know what. I guess we all know now, but... Didn't think much of it at the time. And who would you imagine is the wrong type of person? <laughs> Anyone in daily view, you mean? Yes. Will you tell me? What kind of person do you think I should be keeping here? The ones who don't pay their rent on time? Or the ones who trespass on other people's property? Uh, I'm sure I don't know what you mean, Mr. Levy. Nah, of course not. What about Mr. Morgan? What about him? Do you have a problem with him? Surely he pays his rent on time. Sorry. Landlord-tenant agreement. It's, uh, confidential. Well, I wouldn't want you to overstep your bounds as his landlord now. Glad we agree. Hmm. Uh, you were saying? Anyway... After about ten or something, I went up to my flat and uh, made a cup of tea and a sandwich. 
Corned beef and onion, if I remember. Then about 10.15, I ate it. I hope this is the kind of information you were looking for. I was alone all night, so didn't do anything riveting, I'm sorry to say. You were alone all night, so no one can back up your story. No, guess not. Do you ever have guests, Mr. Levy? No, not really. Never. Where are you going with this? Well, there's a key on the plant pot outside your door. You must have put it there for someone. And how did you find that out? Uh, well, you can see it from the outside. It's plain as day. I said I was alone that night. You don't believe me? I'm merely trying to make sense of it all. Seems simple enough to me, Mr. Conway. Shall I continue? Or was there more? Please. Anyway, around about 10.30, I was sat upstairs listening to my radio show. Kings in the Nile. Well, I had no idea what was going on outside, right under everyone's noses. <laughs> Scary, ain't it? How you could be stood right next to someone capable of that. And you'd never know until it was too late. Well, who do you think is capable of it? We don't know what happened that night. Ain't that the point? Well, we know the attacker was capable of kidnapping a child. What else could he be capable of? He? Well, what makes you think it's a man? <sighs> no, you make a good point. But what makes you think it was a woman? And who do you think could be capable of it? God knows. Shirley or Annabelle? Shirley, maybe. You're forgetting the old bat across the way, though. Mrs. Doa. Don't let her age deceive you. Her bite's worse than her bark. Can you elaborate on that? Nah. I wish there was more I could tell you. I really do. Must have been about 10.40 to 10.50. I nodded off for a bit, because my mind's a little fuzzy on the details. The newspaper said something about the kidnapper having a key or sneaking in undetected. I think it's a load of old bollocks. And in any case, if I ever did see someone sneaking around here, they wouldn't be walking out, I can tell you. No offence. I'm curious. How could the kidnapper have come to be in the possession of a key? Now, I've been thinking about that, and there's a lot of ways someone could have got around it, if they were so inclined. Please, uh, elaborate. They could have stolen a key. Maybe they did it before and then locked the gate. Maybe they got a key copied weeks ago and then returned the original. You have put a lot of thought into that, haven't you? I've known some types in my time. You'd be amazed how resourceful some folk can be. Resourceful. Deceitful. It's a fine line to tread. No disagreement there. Right. Well, please continue. Regardless of all that, I'll tell you what I did here that night. The smash. About eleven, I'd say. That little girl must have kicked up her right old fuss. God knows how we didn't hear. That's when I turned on my floodlight. I looked out my window. I saw Mr. Morgan. Right there, laying in a puddle of his own blood. It's a wonder he didn't bleed out. I must have just missed it, did it? I tell you, that blood ain't coming out my clothes anytime soon. You say the blood was on your clothing? That's right. What clothing are you referring to? The shirt I was wearing that night. And why, might I ask, did you have Mr. Morgan's blood on your shirt? Well, who do you think had to clean it up? Sure as hell wasn't you, Long. Well, I thought the police might have done that. Yeah, well, 
You fought wrong, didn't you? I'm sorry you had to deal with that. It's my job, Mr. Conway. Yeah, of course it is. As you were. Well, other than that, I don't know what more I can say. We all get what's coming to us, don't we? Anyhow, what if it was me? What are you going to do about it? Well, first start, I would help. Maybe I did do it. Hell, oh, maybe you did it. You could be wasting time questioning me to cover your own back. That would be a funny old turn, wouldn't it? I have to say, Mr. Levy, we've not spoken this much before, and I find you strangely heartless considering the circumstances. I had imagined you'd feel a little more sympathy for your neighbor and his missing daughter. You say you had nothing to do with it, but I can't help but think. Go on. I think you're hiding something. Something to do with Charlotte May. And when this is all said and done, Mr. Morgan will know who helped and who stood in the way of my investigation. I hope to God you had nothing to do with it. Listen to me. You think you got problems now being in that chair. You keep this kind of thing up, and you're gonna end up hurt, or worse. Is that a threat, Mr. Levy? A warning's what it is. Well, consider me warned. It's late, Mr. Conway. Piss off. During our conversation, Harold Levy was imposing, attempting to intimidate me. It's clear the man does not like me, and the feeling is mutual. I'm certain he's up to no good, and I suspect it has something to do with Charlotte May. The chemicals I found appear to match the crime scene, no question there. There are, however, some things that still remain unanswered. A threatening note in Harold Levy's flat seemed to provoke his attack on Tony Morgan. Is this related to Charlotte May? The note accused Harold of illegal activities, but what evidence here proves it? Harold said he was listening to Kings of the Nile in his flat at 10.50, whilst Charlotte May was being taken. But can I disprove his alibi?
Harold said he was listening to Kings of the Nile in his flat at 10.50, whilst Charlotte May was being taken. But can I disprove his alibi? There must be a detail I'm missing on some of the evidence. I need to make sure I'm looking at all of the evidence. I should read every detail on the evidence. I'm sure that some of this evidence is irrelevant. I could remove them. There. Everything left on the board is relevant. Now to sort out everything else. I need to look at every piece of evidence. So, Harold lied to me about his alibi. There was no way he could have been listening to Kings of the Nile on his broken radio. The stolen cars are worrying indeed, but don't seem to be related to Charlotte May. The chloroform-like chemical I found is my only real lead. 
You must have hidden those bottles for a reason. Ultimately, this is all conjecture. I can't prove he's taken Charlotte May. Dad? Why is the door locked? Can you let me in, please? I want to talk to you about something. Why was the bolt on? Well, what with everything? One can't be too careful. Mm, fair enough. Uh, what did you want to talk about? I've just come back from having a very interesting conversation with your landlord. Uh, Harold Levy, really. What do you suppose he wanted to talk to me about? Well, actually, Catherine, I I, <clears throat> I wanted to talk to you about that. So he was telling the truth. You know, he was so close to pressing charges. And it's not my job to talk him out of it. I could have been arresting you right now. Or any one of my colleagues. Whom I can assure you would not be as nice as me about it. Why? He seemed fine after I spoke to him. You trespassed and damaged his property. And, and don't try to talk your way out of it. Well... What do you want me to say? I don't know, to be honest. Why do you think he didn't press charges? Hmm? The reason he didn't want the police searching in the first place was because he was hiding what basically amounts to chloroform. The same thing he used to drug Charlotte May. He had a gallon of the stuff. I know. Well, so why don't you arrest him? It's a completely different brand. Well... Have you checked his orders? He might have switched recently. I have. Then why does he have chloroform in the first place? He uses it to dilute oils. It's a side scam to rip off his customers. You would have known that if you were working on the case, but you're not. Well, well, diluting goods is illegal too, surely. Arrest him for that and you can interrogate him. And all he'd get is a fine. And that would be the end of it. I'm sorry, but... You're not an investigator anymore, Dad. I know you want to help, but trust me, you're not. In fact, you're making my job that much harder. Catherine, I was merely trying You to... made me a promise. From now on, I just want you to honour it. I can't. Why not? I promised Tony Morgan that I would help find Charlotte.